Yes, I've learned to trust in Jesus and from sin and self to cease. Now from Jesus simply taking life and rest and joy and peace. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust Him, how I prove Him. I'm so glad I learned to trust Him, precious Jesus, Savior, friend. And I know that He is with me, He'll be with me to the end. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust Him, how I approach Him more. This is my Father's world, and to my listening ears, all nature sings and round me rings, the music of the spheres. This is my Father's world, I rest This is my father's world. The birds their carols raise. The morning light, the lily white, declare their maker's praise. This is my father's world. He shines. This is my Father's world, oh let me never forget that though the wrong seems of so strong, God is the ruler yet, and though the wrong seems of so strong. This is my father's world. Why should my heart be sad? The Lord is king. Let the heavens ring. God reigns. Let the earth be glad. God reigns.
all is stripped away and I simply come longing just to bring something that's a word that will bless your heart I'll bring you more than a song for a song in itself is not what you have required you search much deeper within through the way things appear you're looking into my heart Coming back to the heart of worship And it's all about you It's all about you, Jesus I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing I've made it When it's all about you All about you, Jesus King of endless worth no one could express how much you deserve though I'm weak and poor all I have is yours every single breath so I'll bring you more than a song for a song in itself it's not what you have required deeper within through the way things appear you're looking into my heart I'm coming back to the heart of worship and it's all about you all about you Jesus I'm sorry Lord for the thing I've made it when it's all about you Good morning, and uh, whenever it is that you're tuning in to this recording this morning, this is the Rosedale Community Church of God. I'm Pastor Nathan, and we're glad that you can join in this time with us. And normally on uh, Sundays, um, we when we gather, whether it's uh, online like this or in person uh, at the Rosedale Community school we um, gather and gather for a time of encouragement around the word of god and um, i usually bring a message today i'm not necessarily bringing a message i'm calling for your participation and uh, i don't know where things are at in your life and in your heart this morning but i just feel um, a sense of the lord wanting us to come together and in this time to really focus on a time of prayer. And so wherever you are uh, this day as you're tuning in, and uh, I just invite you to invite, you know, your family around, gather your family around, or those that maybe are, are with you, or if it's just you, um, that's, that's fine too. Um, we're going to be spending some time in prayer, and that's what the focus, whether it's uh, in person at the school or online i want us to just uh and i feel the the lord wanting us to spend our time uh considering coming to him and coming to him with the things that are heavy on your heart the things that are going on and heavy in our world we have the tensions in the ukraine we uh have um you know the things going on in our country in our land in our communities and even affecting our you know our own families and uh, those that we know and love and so with just all the unrest all the uncertainty i know that 
It seems like hope is around the corner and some things are going to be loosening up and we're praying for that day. We're praying that uh, that safely we can get to different places than we are right now. But I'm just going to ask that you participate with the rest of us in praying and uh, praying for not not only that, you know, landscapes and things like that, uh, you know, political or whatever are, are changing, but that the Lord do um, a work in, in each of our hearts. Um, not just the guys over, you know, over across, you know, the pond from us, but, but for us, for us, our children, for us as parents, for us, uh, you know, in our communities, wherever we are, we need the Lord's heart and we need the Lord's mind and we need to be focused on him. So I'm going to just offer a few thoughts, uh, quotes on prayer. I'm going to give you a few scriptures just to meditate on and center us before we go to the Lord in prayer. And uh, this is this is from Max Licato and he says, our prayers may be awkward, our attempts may be feeble, but since the power of prayer is in the one who hears it and not in the one who says it, our prayers do make a difference. That's good, isn't it? Uh, some of us find it easy to pray, to pray out loud, to pray with others around or whatever, and, and some of us have always found that a difficult thing, but remember, it's the power is not in in what uh, fancy words we can bring to him or, or, or even our words. It's the one who is hearing those words and is, is acting on our behalf. So he's listening. Billy Graham says, we are to pray in times of adversity, lest we become faithless and unbelieving. We are to pray in times of prosperity, lest we become boastful and proud. We're to pray in times of danger, lest we become fearful and doubting. We are to pray in times of security, lest we become self-confident. And I want us to remember, again, our prayers uh, to, that I'm inviting us to pray today aren't just for other people, aren't just for, you know, other issues going on, but also for us. If you're struggling today, there's a need to pray and to come to the Lord and to draw near to him. Prayer is not asking, Mother Teresa says. Prayer is putting oneself in the hands of God at his disposition and listening to his voice in the depths of our hearts. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, that well-known verse of old, if my people who are called by na my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, I will forgive their sin, and I will heal their land. Jesus was quoting um, an Old Testament prophet by the name of Isaiah when he said, and as quoting Isaiah, my, my father's house or my house will be called a house of prayer for all nations. So know that you're invited into that today. You're invited as, as one uh, among the nations to come to this place, this house of prayer, and this posture of prayer before the Lord. Ephesians 6.18, as we've been walking through, Ephesians were planted in, uh, in Ephesians chapter 6. And in verse 18, it says, And pray in the Spirit on, on, on all occasions. And with all kinds of prayers and requests, with this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. So pray for yourself, pray for our land, pray for our nation, pray for the issues in our world, pray for one another. Commit your time praying for each other. Pray for those people in your congregation today. Pray for them that God would uphold them with his strength. Whatever it is that the Lord is speaking into your hearts. Psalm 61 verse 2 says, From the ends of the earth, I call to you. I call as my heart grows faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I, and that is the Lord. And so lead me to, to the things of God. Lead me into those places where I need to be reminded 
And I need to be strengthened in my resolve or in my commitment to you, Lord. Isaiah 41.10, Isaiah says, So do not fear, for I am with you, says the Lord. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Abraham Lincoln, I wasn't around when he was around, but Abraham Lincoln, President of the United States, says, I have been driven many times upon my knees by the overwhelming conviction that I had nowhere else to go. My own wisdom and that of all about me seemed insufficient for that day. Isn't that true? We don't, we don't have the, the wisdom that we need. Sometimes we think we do. Sometimes we operate that way. Sometimes we speak as if we do. But let's be driven to our knees and ask for the Lord's wisdom. E.M. Bounds said, prayer should not be regarded as a duty that must be performed, but as a privilege to be enjoyed, a rare delight that is always revealing some new beauty. Paul says to the church in Colossae, in Colossians 4, verse 2, devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. So, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for you tuning in today. I'm thankful as we gather together that we can spend some concentrated time in, in prayer and united time in prayer, that God would unite our hearts, that God would, would bring his will about in my life, in your life, in our nation, in our world. Uh, it's his world, ultimately. God bless you and just However long that you can spend in, in, you know, in a time of prayer, there's no time limit on it. There's no expectation, but please just spend some time alone or together in prayer today. God bless you.